someone sat in this hot seat once, and I was listening to them in the car, and they were asking for, somehow you gave a rampage about a BMW. And at the time, I was like, oh, that would be neat. And so I pretended, and I got to the point where it felt like it. And then, sure enough, I find myself a few months later, and like, wow, I didn't even want it. It just kind of, I did want it. It just kind of showed up. <laughs> How can you not? How can you not go into that rampage and imagine sitting and like, and it just shows up and not, anyway. Well, it's a, it's, a, it's a lovely thing, and this is what's beginning to happen to you more and more, to a lot of you, where a, a manifestation happens that it doesn't, and, and it didn't feel like you were trying very hard. It didn't feel like you even, you said, I don't think I even wanted it. And the reason that it felt like you didn't want it is because you associate wanting with the stress of, of, I didn't stress of, about uh, it. of yearning for something yeah. where where when you find that pure alignment then the universe just begins yielding to you shovels full of of manifestations that have been in your vortex for a while in other words it's such a lovely thing to to have been just looking for fun and looking for clarity not looking for a BMW looking for fun and looking for clarity not looking for a beautiful house in the snow looking for fun and looking for clarity looking for fun and looking for clarity and finding fun and finding clarity and finding fun and finding clarity and finding fun and finding clarity and then things begin manifesting in your experience effortlessly because you finally are experiencing the power of the leverage of alignment you see that's why we've been explaining to you that you've been sifting and sorting and asking and putting it in your vortex and it's been culminating there it's been gathering it's prepared itself for you being ready for it it's better now than it was when you first put it there because you put other things in there with it that all morph together and so your vortex, your vibrational reality is ready to burst onto the scene in the moment that you vibrationally stop disallowing it. So this is the piece. This is another key that this gathering will help you hear in a very strong way. Humans often think that if they've got their sights on something, that they must find a way to think about that, 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 and rein it in like a fish on a line. It's not like that at all. It's that once you have set your sights on it and it's in your vortex, now your work is to chill. Your work is not to figure out what the path is. The path will be, the path is being revealed to you. You just have to figure out how to be receptive to the information about the path. Can you feel the difference about that? And the thing that trips you up, we're trying to demonstrate it for you here. So there is a vibration that becomes a thought. That's momentum worth celebrating. But humans don't want to celebrate it until it's in the garage. <laughs> so since it's not in the garage, you mess this up. And since it's not in the garage, you mess this up. And since it's not in the garage, you get another job. And since it's not in the garage, you work harder. And since it's not in the garage, you do all, you, you try to find all the behavior to get it in the garage. And all the stuff that you do to try to get it in the garage causes you to keep messing this up. You see what we're getting at? So if you can just find things that are easy to feel good about, then everything that you want will come into full fruition. You'll find it all in the garage.